What a Catch, Part 88, a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you've not heard the previous 87 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. If you find the narration speed to be either too fast or too slow for your liking, you can click on the video settings wheel to adjust it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below in support of more fan fiction. What's the first step? Chloe asked, returning from the doorway with the food Lila picked up for them. She dismissed her, of course, but she could tell Lila didn't like the exclusion. In taking down Hawkmoth or getting Adrian back? Marinette was the first to respond and rather quickly. Chloe started handing out boxes with each individual's order. I don't see the difference. Because we need Adrian to defeat him? Because if you say bye-bye to his little Akuma, we'll get our memories back. Oh, I get it, Alia said. What? Marinette turned her attention to her. It was said before that we don't know how many times we've done this before, because his power is memory manipulation, right? Done this? Has in what? Fought Hawkmoth only to lose our memories. What if there is a hint as to how to defeat him? What are you saying? What could help us? His identity. The room went quiet, the others grasping at what Chloe and Alia meant. One problem? Nino chimed in. What? Chloe asked. Adrian remembering what he wanted to forget. I don't know what you mean. Everyone gets akumatized for a reason, right? Hawkmoth can't just turn someone without a motive. The memory that Adrian got akumatized over broke him enough to finally succumb to that villain after years of him trying. What will happen to him after he remembers it? So, we can't plan on him being useful even after we take that wretched bug out of him? Ugh. Ridiculous. So, I know I'm new to this whole superhero thing, but the first step is to figure out what the Akuma is in. Right? Yeah, Marinette said. That's usually where we start. Also, here's another question. Should I assume the role of Cat Noir for now? What? what? Alia and Marinette said in unison. Nino showed off his right hand with the ring on it. I got curious yesterday and, well, one thing led to another and I met this little guy. He reached into his shirt pocket and pulled out Plague, obviously interrupting his nap. What do you think you're doing? The Kwame asked, grasping at the air as Nino held him by the back of his neck. Say hi to the gang. The girls gasped in surprise as Chloe rolled her eyes. You're rather cute, you know that? Alia said getting up to poke the Kwame's cheek. I'm not cute. I'm the embodiment of destruction and chaos, Plag huffed, trying to nip at her finger. Is that not what I said? She took him from Nino to get a closer look. I mean, Trix is cuter than you if it makes you feel better. Trix, Marinette said, is that your Kwame? Yeah. She hasn't come out yet. It's a miracle I was able to transform in Paris. I don't think I'll be able to do it again any time soon. Oh. I'm so- She was cut off by a crash behind her. Plague? All eyes turned to Lila. She entered the room with drinks to hand out, but dropped them when she saw the Kwame. Lila, let us explain. Marinette began. You're here? Oh, it's been so long! She exclaimed, 
making her way over and taking him out of Alia's hand. Hello, Lila, Plag said. Do you got any cheese for me? I'll go check. Camembert, right? To say the rest of the room was confused would be an understatement. When did you two meet? Chloe asked, turning her attention back to Plag. A couple of years ago, Adrian got drunk at a bar once and he went home with her, he began, ignoring Marinette's gasp. And he spilled out his guts to her, both metaphorically and physically. I wouldn't be surprised if his puke left a stain. Gross. She's been an ally of his ever since. Whenever he had a problem, he would spill it out to her. Like what? Plag took a moment to think. I'm not sure. I'm not used to listening, but I can't recall the conversations, much less the topics. Marinette cleared her throat. What if your memory was tampered with? I don't think so. I'm just here for the cheese. But what if Lila's memory didn't get tampered with? Alia said. I mean, she found out he's Cat Noir, but kept that memory for years. The room exchanged glances. That could be possible. Lila wasn't a miraculous holder, so maybe Hawk Moth didn't see the need to waste effort on her. Maybe the Miraculous Squad would let her into their group after all. Thank you so much for listening. Part 89 is on its way. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more fanfiction. I'll catch you next time.